the word for today, glorify God and enjoy him. In 1643, the Houses of Parliament in England abolished the Episcopal system of government, ruled by bishops, in the Church of England. An assembly of 121 ministers and 30 lay people was called to Westminster Abbey to rebuild the English Church. The documents coming out of that six-year assembly are some of the most famous in church history. The first question in the shorter Westminster Catechism reads, what is the chief end of man? Answer, to glorify God and to enjoy him forever. The implications of that question and answer are profound in their simplicity. And if you're wise, you will make them a blueprint for your life this coming year. Glorify God, obey God, enjoy God. When you know your life is glorifying God, you enjoy his presence. But when you know your life is not glorifying God, you tend to avoid him. And that's bad. Because without God's presence in your life, what are your chances of true success? Not good. As you look back on last year, are there things you regret because you know that God was not glorified in them? Well, God is giving you a new year to do things differently. And if you're making New Year's resolutions, base every one of them on the foundation of this scripture. Whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10, 31. If you follow the rule, you will stay on the right path and you will have the peace and joy of knowing your life is pleasing to the Lord. Whatever circumstances may arise, you will face them with peace and confidence, knowing that God is with you. That's the word for today.